Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Mortal Kombat 1 game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now, the first step is to complete shader preparation before you play the game. So when you launch the game for the first time, you see this screen, this says preparing shaders for Mortal Kombat 1 and let this be 100% complete and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, if now, if you're launching the game for maybe second or third time, if you don't see that screen, in that case, you can complete it again. So for this, you have to delete this shadow cache file. Now for this, open file explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items. Put a check over here and you should be able to see app data. In Windows 11, somewhere over here, you will find the view option. Click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data. Open app data folder, open local folder. Now over here, you can see MK12 folder. Open this folder, open save folder. Now over here, you can see three files, which ends with U shader pre cache. So you have to delete these three files. So select and then make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now launch the game and then complete the schedule. Now, the next step is to turn off efficient core in system BIOS. Now, go to your system BIOS. So, shut down your computer and then once you start the computer, immediately keep on tapping the F2 key or the BIOS key may be different in different brands. So, go to the system BIOS and then if you have this option which says efficient core or e course you have to turn off this option in system bios if you don't have this option you can skip this step so if you have this option turn it off and then save the settings launch the game and then check now once you're done playing the game now you have to you can enable the e course once again so once you're done playing the game you can make sure that you enable it now the next step is to is for nvidia users open nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop and then click on nvidia control panel and then go to manage 3d settings over here and then go to program settings and then click on add find the game in the list so here you can see the game select the game and then click on add selected program now if you don't see the game you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder if the game install in c drive open c drive program file 686 steam steam apps and then open the common folder you will see the game folder over here in my case it's, it's, it's in different drive so open the steam steam apps common open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open once the game is added over here now click on high performance nvidia processor over here and then scroll down and here you can see low latency mode set it to ultra and for maximum frame rate set it to 60 so turn it on over here and then you can write down 60 over here and then click on ok now find power management mode and then select prefer maximum performance and now click on apply and do the same thing with two exe files there are two exe files so do this for with the both exe files so click on add once again and then click on browse and this time open this mk12 folder now open binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open and then once this is added again high performance nvidia processor again low latency ultra 60 over here maximum frame rate and this for power management mode select prefer maximum power performance and then click on apply now save the settings once this is done now launch the game now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder if you are unable to launch the game from steam when you click on play nothing happens in that case make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder over here you can see the game exe file now make a double click over here so instead of launching the game from steam just make a double click and launch the game from here so you can make a right click and then you can click on open if this does not work then open mk12 binaries win64 and then run this exe file so make a right click and then click on open 
and then make a double click or you can make a double click and launch the game from here. Now still you are facing the problem in that case run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now do the same uh, run the game as an admin for the first exe file make a right click and then click on properties go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click and launch the game from here if that does not work open this folder binary is bin 64 do the same thing make a right click select properties compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game if that does not work you can try to run the game in compatibility mode now for this make a right click and then select properties go to compatibility and this time put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok and launch the game if that does not work make a right click once again properties this time select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok and make a double click launch the game if that does not work do the same thing with the second exe file make a right click properties and over here put a check and then select windows 8 apply ok if that does not work you can try windows 7 apply ok and then make a double click launch the game game from here still you are facing the problem then this time uncheck all the boxes no need if still you are facing the problem you can just restore make a right click and then uncheck both the boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system now if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search and then scroll down the latest game ready driver right now is 537.34 so download this so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here first make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then again go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added click on it then click on options select high performance now click on save now add the second exe file as well open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add now again once the game is added over here now click on the game select options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game next step is to this is for nvidia card users select prefer maximum performance and which we have already done so no need to do this again you can skip this step now next step is to allow the game exe file to an antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to add to your antivirus program so if you have antivirus like bitdefender avast not on mcafee any antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings if you have windows 10 click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security in windows 11 on the left hand side you will find an option privacy and security click on it windows 10 click on update and security windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add and add and allow app now click on browse all apps again go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on open add both the exe file run the select this exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall 
allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. So now click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app, browse, and then again select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case, this is already added. Again, click on browse and this time open this folder and then select the second exe file. Now click on open, now click on add. In my case, this is already added. Once added, so Uh, in my case, the game is already added over here with the files. Now click on OK and then launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game file. Now this is important. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files now for this open file explorer go to this pc open users folder username folder open app data if you don't see app data click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items you should be able to see app data in windows 11 somewhere over here over here you will find view option Click on view, select show and then put a, check, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Local folder over here you can see MK12 folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now launch the game. Next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Disconnect, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor. Also disconnect all the additional USB adapter or any external devices which you are not using, disconnect those devices, disable steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game, turn this off. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have discord, so turn off overlay in discord, turn off overlay in GeForce experience. So close all the overlay application, also close all the overclocking application. Now this has worked for many players. So if you have any kind of over, overclocking application such as MSI Afterburner or Reward Unit, do not overclock and close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have these services or application running, close these services. Make sure only the Steam and the game is running or only the Epic Games Launcher and the game is running. Rest close everything including all your browsers and then check. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services. Then click on disable all. Now in my case this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case this will be highlighted. So put a check on hide all Microsoft services. Then click on disable all. Then click on apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart it computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So you can type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and click on it. And then go click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here. Now select the drive where the game is installed. Uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file for all the drives. So you have to uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then the initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. So for example, this is just an example. So for example, if the RAM is 16 gigabyte, so if you have 16 gigabyte RAM, so first of all, we have to convert this into megabytes. So multiply 1024. So 16 G GB in megabyte is 16384 this is the total RAM if you have 16 gigabyte if you have 32 you can calculate accordingly this is just an example so 1.5 into total RAM so that is in calculator 16 gigabyte is 16384 megabyte into 1.5 so initial size 24576 the maximum size is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is 16384 in megabyte multiplied 3. That is 49152. And then click on set 
and then click on OK and then click on OK apply OK OK now after this make sure that you restart the computer now after the system restart try launching the game now still you are receiving the error message in that case now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game switch to window mode this has worked for many players so switch to window mode try window mode and lower down graf graphic settings so if qual quality preset is set to ultra or high you can select medium or maybe low and then check the performance next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down click on here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then download x64 and then run both the exe file click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow run the second file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once both the installation are complete click on restart restart is a must so make sure that you restart the computer after this and then launch the game now now the next step is to update windows to the latest version so go to updated security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to update system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a Dell computer go to Dell website if you have Lenovo computer go to Lenovo website if you have HP computer go to HP website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then update the system BIOS now before you install the system BIOS in case of laptop make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer and during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to SSD so make a right click select manage then click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then reinstall the game to SSD if you have solid state drive and if that is internal that would be great so try installing the game to C drive that is SSD and then once installed now launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel